Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to use Data Designer within Contact Builder today to create relationships that you can configure and then use in Journey Builder. If you log into Marketing Cloud and navigate to Audience Builder and then to Contact Builder, you'll be taken to the Data Designer window. Here is where you're able to create your data attributes and then subsequently link together data extensions so that you can use those in decision splits. Let's talk about a use case where this might be helpful. Um, imagine you have a marketing team who doesn't know SQL, so would prefer not to join tables together um, and instead wants to rely on drag and drop tools in order to accomplish this. I have one data extension here, which is our master sendable audience data. As you can see, we've got an email address, we've got a customer loyalty number, and then some demographic information about our customers. In my other data extension, this is a relational table that has no identifying subscriber information. There's no email address, as you can see, but we have an extension of loyalty data. So the loyalty number here is here again. That's the sort of common field between both tables. And then we also have some points, status, um, and rewards information. If we wanna be able to send an email journey to our customers um, and then route them down different paths depending on what level or what status they have obtained in their loyalty program, I'm gonna show you a tool for how to do that. Go back to Contact Builder, Data Designer, and Create Attribute Group. group. I'm going to call it loyalty data. Now we need to link data extensions or create new data extensions to be part of our data model. I'm going to link those existing data extensions that I already showed you. Now, the first thing you need to do is select your data extension that you want to link to your contact model. I'm going to start with my audience data extension. It's really important in this step to make sure you're linking your, e your subscriber key, whether that's email address or any other value, to the contact key, which represents subscriber key for an email channel. Once you've established that link, you'll be good to go. Also take a look, um, you know, make sure that one to menu is configured correctly. If for some reason I had multiple records in my audience data extension of the same email address, I would wanna select many here. I just have a simple one-to-one -one relationship. Click Save. Now, this is great. I can mark it to my audience and use Journey Builder to select any of these attributes to create decision splits on. However, I wanna take this a step further and link my data a level deeper. In this case, I'm gonna link my relational loyalty table on loyalty number so that we can make use of multiple levels of data in our journey builder decision splits. So again, I'm gonna locate the data extension that I created, loyalty details. The only matching field here is loyalty number. So we link those together. Again, we've got a one-to-one -one relationship, click save. And now our data model is configured. Keep in mind, when you set up a data model in Contact Builder using Data Designer within Marketing Cloud, uh, that applies specifically to the business unit you're working in. So this contact model, or sorry, this data model is not available to other business units. It's on a per business unit level basis. Stay tuned for more videos. Please hit subscribe and I'll show you how to use this contact relationship in our Journey Builder video coming up. Thanks everyone.